Assembly of the Ford Cosworth V6 involves a few points that need to be remembered, a few points that require particular care. But in the main, it all follows fairly logical steps. Any gaskets that are removed during dismantling any part of the engine must be automatically renewed. That's important, although no different from any other engine. After fitting the timing chain cover gasket, the chain guides can be fitted, and they simply bolt into position. Installing the timing chain is a job that must be done in a particular order. It's best to locate it first on the intermediate shaft sprocket. Then slot it into the upper chain guide. Down through the lower chain guide, leaving enough slack at the top to accommodate the camshaft sprockets, then round the crankshaft sprocket and finally lay it along the chain tensioner guide which needs to be placed in position at the same time. This order of installation is important because if you start from the crankshaft sprocket and work up you could find yourself getting in a bit of a mess with lots of chain hanging around where it shouldn't be. There are two points to remember about installing the timing chain cover. First of all, position it roughly with perhaps two bolts holding it in place. Then use an available special tool that's mentioned in your literature to center the cover over the crankshaft spigot. As you tighten the cover bolts, keep checking that the cover lines up precisely with the crankcase at both the bottom and particularly the top. And finally, don't forget the one bolt that's hiding away. To refit the sump, you'll need a new gasket. Similarly, the crankshaft damper bolt and its O-ring can only be used once. They must be renewed after removal. And you'll have to coat the back of the thrust washer with sealing compound to prevent oil leaks. Installation of the damper is simple enough. You must remember, of course, to block the crankshaft so the damper bolt can be correctly torqued. With piston number one already near top dead centre, the engine must now be correctly set using the mark on the crankshaft damper. New cylinder head gaskets are a must. You'll find you have to cut the left hand gasket which is clearly marked. Subsequently you must trim the edges to prevent the gasket from chafing and damaging the coolant hose that runs between the head and block. The two sections of the gasket fit independently of one another. This is not the case with the right hand head gasket. When you fit the small gasket once again, make sure you maintain tension on the timing chain so it doesn't drop down. To fit the heads, guide dowels are an absolute must. And a point worth making here is that valve seats in the heads can be reworked in the usual way using existing cutting tools. And before you refit the heads, 
Make sure the surfaces are clean and undamaged. Once again, you'll need some help to hold the timing chain as you wriggle the head into position. A complete new set of head bolts must be used because the old ones will have stretched. They are torqued into position in two stages. First tighten them down to the torque given in your literature and in the order that's also detailed there. Then each belt should be tightened a further 180 degrees, again using the order of tightening shown in the literature. And finally, don't overlook the ninth belt that's located in the chain chamber. The use of hydraulic tappets means no valve clearance adjustment is needed. Should one fail in any way, they can be replaced individually. Each camshaft must be installed in its original location and be set to a relaxed position near its top dead centre. And this is detailed in your service literature. Don't forget to lift the timing chain over the cam spigots before you fit the bearing caps. You won't be able to do so once the caps are in position. The points to remember are that those bearing caps marked with letters fit the left-hand head in the order shown in your literature. Those with numbers are fitted to the right-hand head. And the fitting of that right-hand head follows precisely the same procedure except for the points about the gaskets and tightening sequences. And before you start to fit the camshaft sprockets, check again that the camshafts are set as shown in your workshop literature.